of Gideon is Tawana Coke Sanoxin, the Dum 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 Sixagawa. My name is Trevor Solway. Uh, my Blackfoot name is, uh, is, it translates to writer, or a piece of writing, or the act of writing. It's kind of like a fluid name. Um, it was my great grandfather's name, um, and he was uh, a writer and a drawer, and he would draw for the elders who um, were fascinated with that medium, so that was his name, and my grandfather passed it on to me. I'm a Blackfoot filmmaker. I grew up in Sixaga. When I was here at Mount Royal, I dabbled in everything. That was so I was great about this program was that I was, you know, I dabbled in photography and graphic design and the written word and video. Um, I was looking for this program that where I can just like um, express myself um, creatively and artistically. And coming to this program, like I, I learned a lot of, um, you know, just for four years being able to create, being able to learn. For my people, it was, for a long time, it was oral storytelling. And there's an art to that. And um, my grandpa taught me a lot about oral storytelling. He would, you know, that, that's where, I that was my um, Saturday morning cartoons was sitting in front of him with a cup of coffee. Uh, you know, <laughs> so, so strange, a, a six-year-old, seven-year-old drinking coffee with his, with his grandpa, and, and he, he'd be telling me stories. But I see storytelling as like this, um, just this world where you can express yourself through any medium that you choose. Those Saturday morning coffees with him really sparked um, the storyteller in me. Um, when I first went to film school, I went to an all-Indigenous film school and I watched all these um, Indigenous cinema uh, films and they were great and they got me really inspired. And when I came back to Calgary, um, there was no one really to make films with. And so I, um, I decided to do these uh, film camps for a while in my community. Every summer I would get a group of youth and we would um, I would teach them film, I'd teach them storytelling, and we would make a film by the end of the summer. And I did that for a while, and I wouldn't see this youth again until next summer, and then next summer. I did this for four years. And it was, I, I liked that they kept coming back, but it's almost like I had to reteach them things. And so I was thinking, how can we, I teach, I can make this community more sustainable. Um, so when I graduated from Mount Royal, I kind of freed up more of my time, and I decided to start the Nopi Collective. And the Nopi Collective is a, a grass, grassroots filmmaking society that um, develops Indigenous films and Indigenous talent. So we actually have Indigenous people behind the camera, um, working the sound, working the lights, working the... For a long time, our stories haven't been told by us. So um, the Native people are, are portrayed in the media that we're either portrayed as, as criminals, we're missing or, or we're murdered, or or you look at like sports team logos or Western movies where relics of the past were um, either expected to be the savage or like the noble Indian of the 18, 1700s, you know, so. Um, and, and I grew up in a very, you know, um, rich uh, environment with a lot of culture, a lot of language, a lot of songs, a lot of um, singing, a lot of storytelling. And so when I look at my, my community and my, 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 my Blackfoot, um, identity and I look at what I see on television, they didn't line up. And I was thinking, how can, how can the world be missing out on everything my people have to offer? Um, our people are, we have stories about the stars, we have stories about the animals, stories about the land, stories about everything. Um, and it all just makes sense to, to, um, to, to hear, to, like, to, to Calgary and the Blackfoot Territory. And then when I watch the television and we're always portrayed in this like negative light, and so my drive for storytelling is to correct that and to, and to really take control of our own image. Mount Royal um, honored me as alumni and, um, and means a lot to me. But I think it, it's, it, it goes beyond me. I think it means a lot to the indigenous student body here. Um, when I, like I said, when I was growing up, when I been uh, watching uh, television and mainstream media, um, it, it, kind of sense a message that indigenous people don't belong and that we don't belong you know in our own home in our own territory and so like when you see indigenous people succeed and get recognized for their hard work it sends that message that they belong here you know this award um, means a lot to me and I it's one I dedicated to my grandpa who, who passed away earlier this year uh, he taught me a lot about um, filmmaking and, and how to work and just how to be a good person he always told me to like take care of yourself, um, and you know, like with my my career in filmmaking and journalism, he never really understood, you know, it, you know, all the technology and stuff. But he always supported me through it. 
um, and he was always really happy to, to hear about my endeavors and my, my journey. Um, so I just like to dedicate this award to him.